Hi, it's Kim. Thanks for coming today. Today, I'm so excited to plant a club moss. It is for my bottle garden. You saw me plant a bottle garden with a heart fern a while back. And now I have found this Salaginella krausiana aurea that I'd found previously and passed because I thought it was too expensive. I vowed if I ever saw it again, I'd get it. Now I did. I'm planting it. Okay, now I'm going to pull it out of the planter and divide it into sections. It feels really light and feathery, but I'm not sure if I'm not going to make a huge mess getting this out of here. Yeah, it looks like I am. Okay, now I can see that under there. I'm going to pull off some of this um, mess under here, the, the um, soil, and then I'll have it ready. Okay, I'm going to pull this apart to separate my hunks of moss. They need to be small enough to go through the top of that jar. And I'm not real sure how much I'm going to put in the jar. Let's see. Let's try that much. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work with these bunches. That should almost blanket the floor. I am going to use these tongs to put the um, plants inside this bottle garden. Now the bottle garden, the opening is just this big. So I'm going to insert these with the tweezers. I got these I think for 50 cents at a garage sale. They're Pampered Chef if you can see that. So that was a good deal for me. Don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Okay. Now, here is one of the plugs I'm going to use. I'm not sure if it will go down the hole, but I'm going to see if it will. I think it might have to be halved. Okay. Now here is a plug that I'm going to try and stick through the hole. Here goes. Okay. I'm going to try another piece. I'm sure I'm going to have to take my other instruments and go down in there and try to get it planted. But this is how I'm beginning. Okay. Try another one. That looks small enough. And again, I'll just get it by the top. Shove it down in there. Okay. I think maybe a couple more plugs should do it.
And I may have a whole lot of this club moss growing in here when I'm finished, but I do want to fill up the container with this heart fern that's in there. Okay, I think maybe one more over here. See how that looks all around. I think that should do it. Got a lot of roots on the top of that. I'll have to put a little brush down in here and clean off the soil. But so far that looks pretty good. Let me take one more look at it. Look real close in there. Let me see. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, now let me just use this. And I'm going to try to poke the roots down into the soil. I'm hoping... This is only slightly dry, or I should say slightly moist. And when I put a little moisture in there, I'm hoping that'll make the roots seek and go down into the soil on their own. But I think this is gonna look really, really good. Okay, you stay out here, heart fern. Stay on this side. There. That little leaf. There. There, I got him loose from under that leaf. Okay. I think that looks really good. Let me knock a little of the soil off. Got a lot of new growth in there. This one is almost basically sustaining itself. I rarely have to put any water in it. I just have it, oops, I just have it sitting in the light of the evening sun. And I can see it, it, get con, it gets condensation every evening. So I know it's sustaining itself on its own. Okay, I think that looks really good. I'm gonna leave behind. Okay, that's what it looks like from the top. I'm still gonna have to rearrange the roots down in there and make sure I get them pressed over to where they need to be. But I think it's really gonna look good. It's a little hard to film because of the glare. But I think it looks nice. So let me see what else I'm going to do with the fern. See if I can get the roots down a little. It's sort of like I don't know, you'd probably be better at this, Jacob, because you're used to playing the video games where you're having to watch your little, your instrument go the direction you think, and I'm not used to that kind of stuff. You want me to do it? Okay, you, you try. Here, let me wind it around to, here, on, I'm going to go onto this side. See if you can reposition that one a little. I'll yeah. try to shield the glare. Where did you Just... Just kind of poke it down. It just, if you can like stuff it into the ground, just 
you know, like that root ball. Right that there. looks good. J just don't break a leaf frond. One of those other, that's, that's good. That should do. Now, let me try, I'll try this one. This one looks pretty good. He's pretty straight. But let me try. I should have cut that tiny little leaf right there, a brown leaf off. How does he look? Does he look positioned okay? Yeah. That one does. Right. <laughs> Am I boring you? <laughs> Why are you yawning? <laughs> I don't know why. Jenica. What? <laughs> all right, let me make sure he's straight. Okay. I if it's all out right. Uh, I'm leaving all of your snafus in. Now let me see if I can not clear. I see a little root. Right there on the top of that one. I'll have to get those tongs back out and clear that one. <laughs> Maybe there's a little... I think you're good, Nana. Does it look like I've got all the soil? Mm. Wait a minute, that leaf has some soil. And this <sighs> leaf. Well, that one's oh, a little... That's got a root up on it, right? Yeah, it has a root. Ew, it like cut in through it. Like cut through it, it looks like. I cut through it? Yeah. Or is that that one that was already sliced? I think it was, no, that one was sliced. I can't tell what I'm doing. I'm not a game player like oh you. Oh my god, dude. I'm not a game player. Now, I'm going to try to give it just a little bit of water. But I think that's going to look good. And then I may have to clean... The inner surface will get a little bit of soil on it, and you have to go down with a little scrub and get that out. But everything's growing real well, so I want to make sure it continues to grow well. I've got my pump sprayer out, and since I have fertilizer in there, I'm going to pour that off into a separate dish and save that and then just put fresh water in this for now because I read that you can damage the roots by fertilizing this club moss. It doesn't need fertilizer. So that's what I'm going to do and use this wand to go down in there and finish spraying and getting it cleaned off and adding a bit of water, not very much. I'm gonna spray along the inside just to try to rinse some of the areas I splattered. And if you see any spots on the leaves I need to clean, Jacob, you tell me, okay? Uh -huh. Now I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on each one. I see a little brown leaf there. I may need to get him out. And here, okay, that's probably as much water as I want in there. And I'll take a scrubber and scrub the sides. One of my brushes from downstairs. Here, get right here close. I wanna see if I can get that spot. There, that took care of it. Okay, it's mostly finished. I've got it watered, and I have the um, soil hosed off the leaves as much as I can. I didn't want to put too much water in there at all because it is holding its own moisture. I don't have it closed because this it hasn't seemed necessary for the heart fern. Now I may close it later on if that seems to work for this plant and still keep the heart fern in good shape. But that looks pretty good. 
And that's the best I can do trying to film inside the bottle. If anybody knows any tricks or tips to help me, I'd sure appreciate it. And yes, I am wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> you see me reflected in there. But I think it looks really good. Now, I think that's looking pretty good. I've got the um, club moss kind of in a circle around the heart fern, and I really want it to grow all up in between the leaves of the heart fern. And let's hope it'll do that. Now, with the remainder, I've got a huge bunch left. I have put a large hunk of it here in this large covered terrarium. It's a big round ball and that's going to make a nice big section of it. Hopefully if this will all live I will have pinches and parts that I can put on any other plant that's going to be kind of in a moist or humid environment because that's where these grow the best. Now in this instance I'm using distilled water to put in the plant to water it. I didn't want to use any of my water that has any of the fertilizer in it because that might harm the roots of the plant. Now once it hydrates itself, I hope it'll be self-sustaining because I'll put a lid on it and then the moisture will evaporate and condense back and forth. Now I still have more, so I'm going to put some into the terrarium. I still have the terrarium growing. I had put uh, baby's tears into it recently. So I'm going to stick a couple of the little bundles of the club moss here. And it won't be enclosed or have a cover on it. So we'll see how it works in that kind of an environment. Because this will kind of be open. Now this is in the basement. So it'll be about a, a medium 65 degrees all the time. But I think this is going to work out just fine. I'll give them a nice huge drink of water and get it all hydrated to start with because this dries out pretty quickly. There are these little divas over here should perk up immediately. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now let me pull him out just slightly so I can get to the Aurelia. I don't know if he got any. There, that should make everything fairly moist. Okay, let me push him back. That looks pretty good. And you can see we got a lot of nice root development here. The roots are just growing like crazy. All right, let's try to go real smooth. We've got our um, club moss in there and hopefully that will spread. I've only got one more spot to go. I've got just a little bit left and I am going to plant inside of this bowl. I've got a little covering cloche to put over it. Hopefully I can contain it. Hopefully that's not too big. I don't know if those little tiny swatches root or not. I have to read up on that and maybe write that in the post. But there we go. Put that little root down in the dirt. Okay. Got myself all dirty in the bag of charcoal. I put a little bed of charcoal under there. Now let me give it just a touch of the water. There. And we'll put his lid on. if you can see it with the glare but now we've got a little cloche here 
think that's going to be cute, but at least will preserve it for me to plant in something else when I come to that planter. Because I've got a lot to plant outside. That's it. Well, thanks for joining me today. Be sure to leave me a comment and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Thanks a lot.